Hey, in this video, I wanna give you a little behind the scenes of what our five day Spotify challenge looks like because we not only cover tactics, but we cover mindset and there's also a Q and A part. And so the whole challenge is two hours each day, right? So it's about 10 hours. And every day I go live and we do Q and A first for our VIPs. And the questions people ask are just insane. And you get to hear questions and get to get the answers of questions you didn't even think of. But then every single day I also go into training where we start on mindset and then we do some tactical stuff and you always have homework every single day. And I wanna give you a little snapshot of each day um, so that you can you know, get an idea. And also I wanna encourage you to come because I know it will help you. And so on day one, I really cover the mindset and the idea that like, look, selling isn't wrong. You know, you've got to get over yourself about selling your music and promoting your music. The Bible actually talks about, you know, he who withholds the grain cursed that person. Because if you have a song that can change somebody's life, like I've had people come up to me in Germany and said my song Fighter saved their marriage. I've had countless people say my song No Plan B um, got them through college or stopped them from suicide. And it's like, how do you put a price on that? Like you're writing these songs because you want to impact lives, you want to, you know, make a difference, but yet we're, 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 we're fearful of promoting and marketing. And I really smash into the idea on day one that you got you got to get over that. Like you got to be okay with promoting your music and stop listening to the haters. Because in fact, if you're not getting somebody hating on you every single day, like at least one hater, that means you're not marketing enough. It's when you break through the noise and you start to get haters, so it's like you're finally, your message and your music is finally starting to get out there. Right now it's in obscurity. Nobody knows who you are. And so this idea of like, like why would you be, a, why would you be afraid to promote your music if your favorite band, if they emailed you or your favorite artist told you about their new song, would you get offended? No, you wouldn't. You'd be stoked, right? Well, if you think your music is that good and it's time to market it, then what are you, what are you afraid of? So it's kind of like getting over yourself and the, the fact that, I, that selling is ethical. You just got to learn how to not do it sleazy. You know, people don't want to just hear, um, you know, check out my new song, check out my new song, check out my new song. Oh, I just dropped a new song. But they do want to hear about the, the story behind the song. Maybe you were raped. Maybe you, an abortion. Maybe your dad committed suicide like mine did or your mom. Maybe you grew up in a crazy home. Maybe you fell in love. Maybe it's something more happy. Maybe it's just a party rocker song um, and, and just pulling that energy but sharing why Jimi Hendrix or whoever famous artist inspired you because you were at the show one time and you're like, I want to make people feel the way I felt at that show. Like they want to hear the story, right? So I really break down the idea that you know, it's stories that sell, facts tell. And so you want the story. Like my story is I hurt myself skateboarding and I couldn't skateboard for months and I got invited to some event um, and I knew there were gonna be girls there so I decided to go and I saw these guys rapping and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So I started to hang out with these guys and despite my insecurities, despite my shyness and my timidity and I failed music in school, I started to learn how to rap and then I learned how to sing and I had to push through these fears and I became this fighter and that's why I want to help other individuals. That's, that's part of my story that I share. What is the story behind your song? What is it? What is the story behind your song? And I share about like, look, when you match your music with the right audience, magic happens. That's where the viral happens, right? And this is just day one where I really talk about like like using stories to sell your music right and, and really diving into that and then i talk about and i don't have time because this takes an hour to go through all this but i'll go through some of it is that like your success checklist right like i really go over like what it takes to be successful on spotify and releasing your music which translates to amazon itunes apple music translates to all of it right but like how important your artwork is Right, like you're judging me, you're looking at me right now. Like this is one of our t-shirt designs, right? Your, uh, my song, No Plan B, right? And, and, and you're judging me right now based on how I'm dressed. Well, people judge you based on how your album is dressed. You know, you only get one chance at a first impression. 
And I can only tell you that like, it's not about quantity as it is about quality. All right. And I share you how, share how you can do that. Um, I share about how a lot of artists, one of the big mistakes they make is you're not scheduling your release in time. You know, you're just whipping it out there. You're in such a rush. And I understand the music industry. Uh, Theos is like, you know, hurry up and wait. Like people want it now. They want it out there now. But why do you need to rush out your release? You worked so hard at it. Why not come from the ch to this challenge? Why not learn and, and, and put a plan together so you can have a really successful launch? Like we're planning a cover song and we're just under a month and we've got all these things lined up to make sure we smash it out. Look, I've released a song and just whipped it out there. And guess what happened? I got like barely any results. It's P.T. Barnum who says something really, really terrible happens when you don't market and promote. You know what that is? Nothing. Nothing happens. And I don't want it to be crickets on the day of my single cover because I spent a lot of money on it, spent a lot of time. It's important to me. And if your songs are important to you, then you will spend some time and plan and schedule the release. One of the other things I really challenge artists on is the idea of collaborations. So many of my students, I'm like, dude, you don't need to release that. You need to go find a cover or find a feature to get on that song, whether someone's rapping on it, singing on it, right? Some sort of feature so that you can tap into their fan base as opposed to you spending all this money on um, marketing it. You're so much better just to get a collaborator on it, all right? I talk about the Spotify marquee ads, which are really, really important um, when you're releasing a song. You have to have at least 2,500 I think it is followers or 5,000 streams in a, in a certain period of time. So really Spotify marquee ads are for artists that are kind of already established and you're trying to reactivate old fans or the fans that are like kind of, you know, they're, they're warm, they're hot. And then there's also the lapsed fans, those that have like haven't listened to you in like a few months. And it's a way to promote your, your song. It does that pop up on their screen with your new song and you run that ad to kind of try and bring them back in, try to reel, reel fans back in. That's more um, fan base development as, a, as opposed to fan base growth. And, and th these are the two things you gotta really understand. There's a difference between you know, fan base growth, getting new fans in, and fan base development and, and, and bringing them up your value ladder. And what does that mean, value ladder? Well, it's the idea like first they listen to you, then they subscribe to you, then maybe they they buy some merch, then maybe they go to a con they go to a concert, or then maybe when they become your super fan they become your join your fan club or your Patreon whatever it is right and you want to develop and, and have them go through that right and take them through that series. Then another thing we really cover, um, which is the four phases of your song launch strategy, and it's really important to know the different parts. Like you've got your pre-launch right preparing. You have the day of launch, right? When the song comes out, and then you have your post launch, right? And that's after, the, the days and weeks after. What are you going to do to keep them engaged? And what are all the different things that you're gonna do to make sure that this song is successful? Like one of the biggest things that you can do and that we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-create all the promotional content weeks before. So we have all of our videos ready. We have all of our images ready to go. I'm not just talking about the cover. I'm talking about all the content around the song to make it successful. Have it all created, ready to go. So you, you've got it in your folder, on your phone, ready to go each day, or even better, ready? Schedule it. So it's scheduled. The emails are scheduled out. The, the SMS texts already scheduled to go out. So that I like to say it's so planned out so you can just go out on a date Friday and everything is already pre-done because you did everything, right? You did everything already. Now, I want to share with you the three mistakes I made when releasing a single. That's one of the things I cover on there. But I really want to encourage you to get a ticket to the next Spotify challenge. The link is below this video or go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. When you get a VIP ticket, you get to ask me questions every single day. If you don't trust me yet, get a $5 ticket and just get general admission, but you can't ask questions, but you can still attend the training, which is super valuable. And we always, and, and we do a, a money back guarantee. Like if you get the VIP ticket, 
and you show up for the full five days, you got your camera turned on, you're asking questions, if you don't believe you got way more value than that $49, we will refund your money. Okay, so go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. I just want to share some of the mistakes I made when releasing singles. I'm going to share one of them with you. And this is a big one because I really preach the idea of getting a feature on your song. But there's different types of features that you can get on a song, right? There's the, the primary artist feature so that when you release the song, that artist, it shows up in their dashboard. All their followers get notified because they're able to pitch it to the release radar and you're able to pitch it to the release radar. That's a primary artist feature. The uh, second one, um, this is the mistake I made, is I just made them a featured artist. So yes, it showed their name on the song, right? Someone could click on it and go to their profile, but the point is the song is not showing up on their profile like that. It is not um, they, they can't pitch to the release radar and this is the big mistake I made um, is for my song save you so we got a, uh, an artist on there and we, 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 we scheduled it and I'm like hey dude make sure you pitch to the release radar and he's like dude it's not showing up in my dashboard it's not showing up in my dashboard and we didn't leave enough time to fix it and change it over and honestly it would have been a quick little email had I known just a quick little email support ticket they could have changed it fixed it but again, I didn't plan ahead. I didn't plan ahead. And still that song ended up getting millions of streams. We were able to do different things to promote it and market it. We didn't give up. But the point is, is I missed out on an opportunity. And this is the thing. Artists perish for a lack of knowledge. All right? You're only, they're, they're only a starving artist because they lack the knowledge. And I really want to challenge you on this challenge to stop seeing yourself as the starving artist and see yourself as a starring artist. You know, it's time for you to step out on the stage of success for your dreams and become the artist and the person you know you're called to be. But that is not just about skills and tactics. It's about this. It's about your mindset and getting your mindset right because you got to be able to handle rejection. You got to be able to critique people. Like I just had someone send a shirt design back to me. It didn't look fully right. I had to get them to, to fix it. You know, when a producer sends me something, I got to learn how to communicate and, and, and share and, and, and move things forward. Because guess what? Things don't always go right, but you got to push through that stuff to find success. It is not the best song that always wins. Not at radio, not on Spotify. It is the best marketed song and it's the best well-known artist. Am I saying skimp out and don't make great songs? No, I'm not saying that, but I can't stress enough how important it is. You gotta be able to market yourself. So I hope you join us. That's a little snippet of day one. I'm gonna do one about day two. Just click this video right here and you can watch day two to get an idea. Get your VIP ticket. It's gonna be a game changer. And I look forward to just coaching you and talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. It's gonna be freaking awesome. But hey, click watch this video above me here on the side and I will see you on the challenge.